condition number of a matrix tells us how sensitive a multiplication with the inverse of this matrix is to the small changes in its multiplicand. Higher the value of the condition number, higher the sensitivity. A matrix is said to be ill-conditioned when its condition number is significantly greater than 1. And it is said to be well-conditioned when the condition number is close to 1. We will now see how can we find the condition number and how it is correlated with the sensitivity. We find the condition number of a matrix by dividing its highest eigenvalue with its smallest and finding the absolute value of that result. Consider the matrix A. We see its eigenvalues on the right. Using the previously described formula, we find that its condition number is 4001. When the condition number is significantly greater than 1, the matrix is said to be ill-conditioned. Hence, the matrix A is ill-conditioned. Let's now see how the result is affected when we slightly change the multiplicand of the inverse of A. First, we find the product of the inverse of A and a vector composed of elements 2 and 2. We see that the result is a vector with elements 0, 2. Next, we change one element of the multiplicand only as slightly as 0.001. However, we see that the result of this multiplication changed significantly. The reason it is so important to be aware of ill-conditioned matrices is that because of the round-off error, even a tiny error can result in a significant change of the result.